I'm Andrew Morrison, I'm the Curator of Archaeology here at the Yorkshire Museum. The Yorkshire Museum was founded in 1829 and it's the second oldest purpose-built museum in the country. It was organised and set up by something called the Yorkshire Philosophical Society and lots of people in York got excited by things, by objects, and they decided to create a collection. Now initially that collection was housed in the building down on News Bridge, but very, very quickly it outgrew those, uh, those spaces and they had to build a, a new museum. So they chose an area where there was already some heritage, some, some archaeology. The site of the most important Benedictine Abbey in the country, St Mary's. The museum has in its two and a half million objects some of the most fantastic specimens as well as collections covering the whole of, the, of world history. Within that huge collection of what is nearly two and a half million objects, there really are, well there were about five main star objects, we've just acquired another one. Uh, the, the, perhaps the oldest is the ichthyosaur. It, we have what is the largest ichthyosaur in the country. Now an ichthyosaur is like a very big dolphin that swam around in the sea in the late Jurassic period. Um, we, that's about 265 million years ago and it's enormous. We have an entire skeleton, it's about 10 metres in length. The next really four star objects are archaeological. We have the York Helmet, the most amazing 8th century helmet anywhere in Europe, absolutely perfectly preserved. It's a Christian object, it has an inscription on it, it has the name of the owner on it, a man whose name spelt O-S-H-E-R-E, -E, and it's made in the finest possible way you can imagine, absolutely stunning object. We have the Midland Jewel, perhaps the finest piece of 15th century goldsmithing in the country, with a great big sapphire right on the top of it. And actually the Midland Jewel, it looks lovely, and it is made of gold, but the stories built into it about who might have owned it why it was made, what it contained, because it's hollow inside, are just as exciting. We have something which we acquired only very recently called the Kaywood Sword, which dates to around about 1100, and it's the most perfectly preserved sword for an archaeological sword. It came out of the river, uh, River Ouse, which runs through York, in a place called Kaywood, about eight miles south of York, um, and it's inscribed down both sides of its blade with an inscription, which is a mystery to us. We also have, the, um, the more recently, we have something just acquired for over a million pounds, the Vale of York Viking Hoard, which is the largest hoard of Viking money, jewellery, bling, gold and silver, beautiful stuff ever, really, for the last 150 years. We've seen nothing like it. And we've just acquired that jointly with the British Museum. But also, of course, York is famous for its Roman history. So what we have it, within the collection is an enormous amount of Roman objects, but the star object amongst that collection is a gritstone statue, life-size, of the Roman god of war, Mars. He's wearing a helmet, he's fully decked out in armour, he's carrying a sword and a shield, but from all of Britain there's not another piece of three-dimensional sculpture like it. It far outstrips anything else we've seen in archaeology from this country. All of these star objects, and all of the other objects that are on display, really, are displayed in a manner that's not particularly accessible. But also, of course, these objects were put into dis the displays 20 years ago, and we've acquired an awful lot more material and a lot more knowledge as well since then. Also, the public who come and visit us, and those who don't come and visit us, what they really want is something that does the history of York. And there's nobody else placed in the city, as well as we are, to deliver the history of York in one go. Uh, so we're going to build into the, the museum the auditorium that we have, which we've never really used as part of the museum visit to deliver the history of York. It's, it's the place to come in York to get really that all of that history in one place. We are starting a project now to refurbish the entire museum. Three permanent galleries, one based around the Romans, or one based around the early peoples of Yorkshire and York. So we'll start the Romans in the prehistoric period and we'll finish them in around about the 8th century. The second gallery is all about medieval York and we start that in really the 8th century and carry it on through to the, to the Reformation in the period in around about 1600. Uh, what we're looking at really are people, that's the most important thing because people don't change, we we're the same people we were 2000 years ago, we do things that are slightly different. Uh, the third gallery is all about science and it's about extinctions, it's looking at our natural history, natural science collections. Uh, geology, the dinosaurs, dodos, mowers, um, all of this sort of thing have all gone extinct 
in the world, but also more recently things have gone extinct in Yorkshire itself. So it's bringing some very topical scientific debates into the museum. So to find out more, come and join me in the new year when and see the next instalment of our exciting video trilogy.